sex determination in drosophila is determined by the ratio of x chromosomes to the number of sets of autosomes that is x is to a if the ratio of x is to a is 2x chromosomes to 2 sets of autosomes the development is set towards male femaleness if the ratio is 0.5 that is 1x chromosome to 2 sets of autosomes the development is set towards maleness the x chromosomes contain three numerator genes known as the sisterless gene cis a cis b and cis c an autosome carries the denominator gene called deadpan or dpn the sisterless narrators or sisterless numerator genes are expressed to produce protein subunits that can either form homodimers with themselves or heterodimers with the protein subunit produced from the deadpan denominator genes in females the expression of two copies of sisterless numerator genes one from each x chromosome results in express of sisterless protein subunits compared to the deadpan denominator protein subunits this results in the formation of many numerator homodimers the numerator homodimers are transcription factors that activate expression of sex lethal gene or sxl gene in males there is only one copy of each numerator gene so most express sisterless subunit from the heterodimers with denominator subunits as a result there are not enough numerator homodimers to activate sxl expression early in the embryogenesis in female drosophila the sisterless homodimers activate transcription of the sxl genes from early promoter that is pe the pre mrna transcribed from the early promoter has eight exons but exons 2 and 3 are skipped to produce the mature mrna consisting of exon 1 4 5 6 7 and 8 translation of this mrna produces the sex lethal or sxl early protein in female embryos the male embryos does not have enough sisterless homodimers to activate the early promoter of the sex lethal gene so no sxl protein is produced in male later in embryogenesis sxl is transcribed con constitutively from a more upstream promoter the late promoter or pl in all cells regardless of the x to a ratio the pre mrna transcribed from this promoter consists of nine exons l1 e1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 8 exon 3 contains a stop codon in females the sxl early protein binds to the sxl pre mrna and causes regulated splicing in which the exon 1 and 3 are skipped this results in a mature mrna with exons l1 l2 l4 5 6 7 and 8 translation of this mrna produces sxl late protein in males the absence of sxl early protein results in the default splicing of the sxl pre mrna as a result the mature mrna includes the stop codon in exon 3 therefore no functional sxl late protein is produced in males the event just described set the switch to either female or male differentiation a cascade of alternative splicing events follows In the female embryo, sexual late protein regulates splicing of transformer or TRA pre-mRNA and stop codon containing segment upstream of the contiguous with exon two is removed, resulting in a mature mRNA with exon one, two, and three. Translation of this mRNA produces this active transformer or TRA one protein. In males default splicing of the TRA pre mRNA occurs because the absence of sxl late protein the stop codon containing exon is not removed so translation of the mature mRNA does not produce any functional TRA protein TRA protein is also an RNA splicing regulator the target is the pre mRNA of the double sex or dsx gene in females the mature dsx mrna encodes the dsx f protein a transcription factor that represses male specific gene expression in all cells as a result female specific somatic cell differentiation occurs in males the mature dsx mrna encodes to the dsx m m for male protein a transcription factor that represses female specific gene expression in all cells as a result male specific somatic cell differentiation occurs
knockout mutants of the dsx have both male and female characteristics because there is a lack of repression of both male and specific and female specific genes that gives us the clear understanding of the drosophila sex determination